Good morning everyone and welcome to a very, very, very humid day out here in East Texas. Today we're answering a question that quite a few people have sent in and that is why aren't we raising black Angus cows? But before we answer that question, let me tell you what we are raising. What we are raising are these beautiful longhorns here and then back there we got two Angus Charlet crosses. And as you can see, they're all brown or white. A little bit of gray over there too. And you see, the reason why we're raising Longhorns and the Charlet Angus crosses and not the big commercial type of black Angus are a couple reasons. Number one, we're gonna specialize in Longhorn beef because it's much healthier. You see, Longhorn beef has even less calories than chicken breast would, but also packs the nutrient density of the beef. And especially since we're rotating them every day, only eating grass, it's just gonna be just that much better. Longhorn beef, something to check out. Most people don't know about it, but most healthy people eat it. It's a lot leaner and cooks a little bit differently, but when cooked correctly, it is the most tender, best thing that you can possibly eat. But we do have Dolly and Sheep back there who are Charlet Angus crosses. And we're doing some experimenting and seeing, you know, maybe breeding them to a longhorn bull, seeing what comes out. Doing some experimenting with them. It's gonna be cool. Now you notice it's not just black Angus that we're not raising. We're not raising any kind of black cow and that's for a specific reason. You see there's really like three different types of cows. You have your commercial Angus, Hereford, Charlet, the ones that you see all the time on the side of the road. Then you have the dairy cows which are the Holstein and the Jerseys, that type of thing. And then you have the Longhorn, the Watsui, the Caliente, Caliente, Corrente, Corrente. I want to say caliente, I don't know why. Corrente cows, which are just a little bit different. They're a little bit more wild, if you want to call it that. You see, the commercial cows, they put on a lot of weight, and what they're meant to do is just put on meat, put on meat, put on meat. Why? Because the bigger, the better in the industry, if you want to call it that. Don't agree with that. Want to keep cows anywhere from 1,000 to 1,200 pounds, somewhere in there. But we're not producing, you know, 17, 18, 1,900 pound steers. We're not going to do that. Why? Just too big. Now, the longhorn type of cows, they're a little bit different. I explained that to you already. The dairy cows, they have a little bit different flavor when you eat them. But the reason why they're dairy cows is because they're really kind of just skin and bones, which they're bred over time in order just to be skin and bones and just produce a lot of milk. They're actually probably treated the worst out of any cow you know the little babies are taken away from the moms that then within it's easily three days and it's just sad that's where you get like the veal from that's where you get just ah eh, all the dairy cows they're forced to produce milk they're forced to produce a ridiculous amount of milk and for the most part they're just on kind of like a feedlot style you know come in twice a day get milked kind of thing it's just I don't agree with it I don't agree with it for those of you out there that do it Eh, it's, it's your thing. I just don't agree with it. Okay, but the reason why we're staying away from the black Angus is out here in Texas it Gets hot and you see when it gets hot you got to give your animal some sort of shade and Out here because we're moving them every day. Not every paddock has the most amount of shade possible We always do give them some shade to where they can go get under a tree when it's you know Either really hot or kind of gets stormy or something like that They can go get under a tree because you know, it's just you don't want to put stress on the animal and You know the color black attracts the Sun more than any other color So what happens is is the black Angus get hotter a lot faster They need to go find a tree a lot sooner Than one of these girls back here that are a lighter color it's been shown that cows with a black hide can be up to 20 degrees hotter than any other cow, which is, that's a lot. Imagine being in 80 degree weather or 100 degree weather. That's a big difference. And what we want to do is we want to put as least amount of stress on the animal as possible. And the way that we can do that is by having a cow like Rose back here who's mostly white, a little bit of brown, just so it keeps the temperature down on them and they're not out there, you know, just being hot and cooking in the sun. And plus, we want a cow that's gonna go out and forage rather than sit around and be lazy trying to be out of the sun all day. So that makes another difference. You see, I was watching another YouTube video the other day and hopefully I get this right. It was the Stony Ridge farmer and he was in interviewing Temple Grand Grandin. I think it's Temple Grandin, not Temple Gradian. I think it's Temple Grandin, okay? She is a, like an animal psychologist and she sees how you know, animals work and she designs corrals for them to be the, 
be less stressed as possible when they go into you know corrals or squeeze shoots or whatever. She she said something in the interview the the other day that just kind of solidified what I was thinking. She said you got to give the animals a life worth living. And you know what? Staying away from the black cows with in this Texas heat, that's giving the animals a life worth living. Being make, making sure doing everything possible to where they can stay the healthiest, the least stressed possible. So am I totally against black Angus cows? Absolutely not. Now if we lived up in North Dakota where it's freezing cold, guess what? I'd want black cows. Why? Because when it gets negative 20 and 30 degrees in the dead of winter, I want the cows to soak up as much sun as possible. Out here, it doesn't get that low. It probably will get, you know, a little bit below freezing in the dead of winter, but nothing that these girls can't handle. The summertime is when it puts stress on them. You see, I want the cow that's most suited to our climate. And in here in Texas, What's better than a Texas Longhorn? Another reason why around here I want to stay away from the Black Angus is because they're the most expensive cow around here. I mean, to get, they're the most expensive one. You get a Black Baldy Heifer, a Black Baldy Bull, that's going to sell for the highest price, at least around here. And I don't really get that, you know? I know Angus has done their marketing, the Black Angus marketing. They have their own restaurant. They have this and that and the other thing. When you go to the grocery store and you see certified registered Angus beef, you think it's better. No, it's just about the same as the Hereford. People are going to get upset with me saying that, but it's true. Is there going to be a difference, really, in registered Angus and Charlay? No. In registered Angus and Hereford? No. Why? Because they're all the commercial European breeds. They're all kind of intermixed and they've become almost one and the same. So that's why I stay away from the black Angus. You know, we do have Angus here. They're half. They're half, but they're white. They're white with the, because they're Charlay Cross. And that, that keeps their temperature down. So that puts the least amount of stress on Dolly and sheep back there. But the main thing is, is that you got to find cows that suit your climate. And here in Texas, the Longhorn is what suits us here. The Bronham would do fine. Charlay would do fine. Red Angus would do fine. A lot of the other different breeds would do fine. But I just want to put the least amount of stress on the animals, especially because we move them every day and they don't have necessarily a tree to get to at every second of every day. And the last reason why I went with these Longhorns is this. Look how pretty they are. Look at the different colorings, you know? Even they're really pretty. But look at this. Nothing screams Texas than a Longhorn. So I hope that answers people's question about why we don't raise black Angus or black cows. It's just because of the heat issue. Again, up north where it's cooler, go for it. I think it's a good idea to do rather than try and bring one of these girls up there or, or bring a Bronham or something with the big ears that will get frostbite. So with that, hit the subscribe button down below. Ring the notification bell so you get notified when we put up new videos. Hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm and drop a comment if you like. Alright? Until next time, see ya.